Okay, uh, here we go. We want to write possible formulas, and the keyword is possible. Some of these we can write exact formulas for them, and other ones, uh, we just kind of have to make our best guess looking at it, as you'll see. So on 28, that is certainly a straight line. It goes through the point 0, 3, and 7, 0. So the slope is 3 minus 0 over 0 minus 7, which is negative 3 sevenths. So my equation, since I know the y-intercept, I can immediately say y equals negative 3 sevenths x plus 3. Okay, so there's my um, equation for that line. 29. We are going to make this assumption that that continues on, and that's just an exponential curve, which is reasonable to do. So I know exponential curves look like have the formula y equals a b to the x so in this case I plug in 0 1 and I get 1 equals a b to the 0 which is just a so I know a is 1 so it would be y equals 1 times b to the x and now I'm going to plug in 3 4 and I get 4 equals b to the third and so b would be the third root or cube root of 4 so my equation for this function would be y equals 1 times the cube root of 4. I'm going to write that as 4 to the 1 third to the x power. And I can rewrite that as 4 to the x over 3 power if I wanted to simplify it more like that. Okay, 20, 30. Same type of problem, only now I've got the point 0, 3 and the point 5, 9. So we'll do the same thing. y equals a b to the x. So when uh, y is 3, x is 0. So that tells me that that's equal to a. So a is 3. So y equals 3 b to the x. And then 5 and 9. So when y is 9, x is 5. So solve for b. b to the fifth equals 3. So b would be the fifth root of 3, which is 3 to the 1 fifth power. So I end up getting y equals 3 times 3 to the 1 fifth to the x power, which is, so it's y equals 3 times 3 to the x over 5. If I want to keep it in a b to the x, well, it's not even b to the x form, it's b to the some power form. Okay, there we go. 31, I guess i got to finish 31 uh, here. So this looks like just a parabola, and it goes through the origin, and it just looks like it's shifted over. We don't, we're just kind of making an estimate here. Um, it's shifted over and up, or I can also say, ooh, let's assume, I'm sorry, I, I think it's better to look at it as negative 5 as a zero. So I got two zeros. And like I said before, negative five, that means x plus five is a factor. And x is also a factor because when I plug in zero in, think about this. When I plug zero in for x, the y is zero. When I plug in negative five, the whole thing is zero. This is opening upside down. So I know it's got to have a negative in front of it to open down. All right. That's good. Good to go there.